Aloha guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a Sigma haul. I'm going to show you what I bought and we're going to do a try on and I'm doing this look right here. So if you want to see what I bought and the try on, then just keep watching. All right, you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to um, show you what I bought at Sigma and I'm going to try some stuff on for you. I'm going to use the palette that I got and um, some of the brushes and show you some of my favorite brushes by Sigma. So if you want to see what I got, then just keep watching. So the first thing that I got is this Sigma matte and cleanser. And um, I've tried their, um, their bar cleanser, which I like, but it doesn't really work well on foundation brushes. Um, so I also have the Sigma glove, but I really wanted something to put in my sink so I don't have to hold, wear it with this hand and then scrub with this hand. Um, I can just put this in my sink and it's got these little um, rubber things that suction cups that will suction onto the bottom of your sink and it's got all kinds of um, perforations so that you can clean your brushes. So I'm really excited about this mat, super duper excited. Um, and then also I heard great things out of the Sigma, um, what is it? Sigmagic brush shampoo. So I am super excited to use this um, and it's got a pump, yay. So it says shake gently before use, pump one to three times directly onto wet brush fibers, lather, rinse, and with warm water, repeat as needed. So I will keep you guys updated. I'm not gonna wash brushes in this video but I will definitely keep you updated. I may do like an Insta story, like washing a couple brushes to show you guys how this works um, and to show you the mat in my bathroom. So I'm really super excited about this. Um, if you're interested in buying anything from Sigma, they are having a sale right now, a 30% off sale, and I'm not sure how long it's gonna last, but I'll put it down in um, the description box so you know what the code is um, and it has nothing to do with me it's just a sale that they're having okay so next is um, I got some brushes um, the first one I got is this it's a foundation brush it is the F60 and uh, it's just a flat foundation brush um, I like to have one of these around uh, sometimes I pump the makeup on and if I'm not using my flat kabuki brush, sometimes before I use the any blender or beauty blender, sometimes it's nice to spread it out throughout the face and then get the beauty blender and pounce it. And um, sometimes I mix foundations or I'm mix, mixing a serum or whatever on the back of my hand. So then it's easier to pick it up with this and then put it on your face. So. I'm um, super excited to try this brush and it's the F60. Um, I got a kit here and this is the Sigmax Precision Kit. And so what this is, these aren't necessarily um, eyeshadow brushes, um, but they're for like your base. So um, they're called uh, precision brushes. So we got a precision flat. P80. Let's see which one. Okay, I'll just. This is the P82 round. So this is just a round brush. So these are concealer brushes, and um, you can use them to put concealer underneath your eyes. You can use them to like if you have um, blemishes or whatever, and you um, put concealer on your face to conceal those. You can use that for that. You can use it for the under eye. This one would be great. The P86 Precision Tapered. Look at how pretty this one is. And um, if you've never tried the Sigma brushes, they are awesome, awesome. Um, yeah, especially with foundation. Um, and then they have another Precision Flat Angled P88. So that's this one right here. 
Um, this one would be great like with contour, like contouring your nose if you contour. Um, and you could also use it with wet or dry um, powders and creams or whatnot. So this is the Precision Angled P84. And this one's a little bit fluffier. So you can use these with powder too as well. So yeah, so that's the brushes I got. And last but not least, oh, this is so, so pretty. This is the Viper Eyeshadow Palette. It is so pretty. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. So look at that. Look at the packaging on that. So, so stinking pretty. And then these colors. Look at that. My, my, my. So pretty. So um, we're going to use some of these and some of the brushes. Um, I'm so tempted just to do this, this top row here. Um, but I don't know. Let's see. I'm definitely going to use uh, Hypnotize here. I'm going to use that in the crease. Um, I, do have, I do have some um, um, eyeshadow primer on, but I put it on earlier. So I'm just going to put a little bit more and I'm going to use, uh, let's see this precision flat angled, the P88 and use that just to put that on there. And, uh, yeah, the, br the bristles are super soft, super nice. And it just spreads out that product perfectly and I'm just gonna put a little bit underneath the lash line so now that we've got our eye primer on let's uh, dip in to um, I'm gonna use this color right here in hypnotize and we're going to use the um, the tapered blending brush and we're gonna get that color right Right in the middle here so it can be used as our transition shade I just love this brush it's so so super stinking easy to use washes well it doesn't come out like stiff or anything afterwards so what I notice is that this um, color doesn't have a lot of pigment. Um, I would say it's good for like an all over um, covering on the lid. So I think I'm gonna have to bring in another palette. I'm gonna use the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette, uh, which I've been using a lot lately. And I'm going to dig into the color uh, Georgia down here and with that same brush and I'm gonna put that in the crease there sorry if you guys hear my AC I am burning up I get the um, afternoon sun in my beauty room and I'm like frying right now and then I have my lights on and so hot and if you see a line here it's because I took a nap earlier and my pillow did me wrong okay so now that we have that in there um, I think I'm going to go in with the green because I really want to use this green color and it is called Male Malevent. Male Malevent? I guess. So um, I'm going to use my Sigma Blending E25. Now I took all the pigment off of here so I should just be picking up the green look at that wow so love 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 this brush and this green wow 
so pretty is it's like not super duper dark where you dip into it and it's just like it just leaves really dark splotches of green on your eye you can slowly build it up which I really really like so I'm gonna take this the tapered blending and I'm gonna blend out some of that color there and then I'm gonna use um, the Sigma E55 small flat shader and I'm gonna put I'm gonna dip into that green and I'm gonna put it underneath the lash line I mean go big or go home right Whew, I should have put my hair back I'm gonna take my Mac 217 which has seen better days but we're gonna we're gonna dip into that color there and put it right here in the outer corner so oh that brown is so Pretty. Blend that in there. So we're going to go back into that tapered blending and blend some of this out. That um, MAC brush was not working for me, so I'm gonna go in with the Morphe Jaclyn Hill brush. And we're gonna pick up some more of that brown, because I feel like after we blended it, it kind of blended away. So we're gonna put some more of that on there. Blend. Oops. To blend. So I caught up on this left eye here and basically um, I just took the brown instead of putting it like here on the lid I just left all the green there and I put some more brown just here um, between the transition color and the green and just I feel like it looks better because there's more green and yeah so we're gonna use some eyeliner now so I'm gonna use the L'Oreal infallible um, eyeliner in brown and this is one of my other than my NYX I love this because it's nice and creamy and it is a nice um, like coffee brown color and it goes, it wears really well. So I just put it on the top lash line and in the water line and now we're going underneath the lash line. So we're just gonna make this look, darken this up. And then um, I also put some of my brow gal right here in the tear duct area, which is really pretty. You guys know it's my favorite. And I think I'm gonna use this right here in the waterline as well to brighten up the eye. We'll do both. And then I'm gonna put a little bit up here to brighten up the top and then what I'm gonna do is take one of my precision brushes 
and then just blend that out a little bit and I love these precision brushes because you can use them for so many things and they feel so luxurious so yes okay now where is my lash curler here let's do um some highlighter so you can see my highlight brush in action and I'm going to use my hourglass and get in the one highlight even though I have highlight on already I'm just going to put some more I mean highlight it just doesn't hurt anybody right it does not hurt anybody so so pretty so easy to use let's do the cupid's bow hard to do it when you already have lip color on <laughs> and why not we'll do it down the bridge of the nose you know what let's use one of these um, precision brushes um, to do some nose contour so I'll take the P86 and I'm gonna dip into uh, the um, bronzer in here and I'll use it right here just to kind of define my nose a bit. I don't do this often, but um, usually on special occasions I do do this and I feel like it makes my nose look smaller. So let me get a blender and I like it because they're really very precise so I've done it with bigger brushes in the past but it's just super precise I curl our eyelashes which I think I did already earlier but we're gonna give them another little zhuzh And I know you get tired of seeing me use the same mascara, so I have a sample of the Too Faced Better Than Sex, and I'm going to use that today. And I'm not even going to use a lash primer. I'm just using mascara. I know. Shocking. Okay, and then I just topped off my lips with this Laura Geller uh, lip topper. It's in City Lights. So, yeah, guys, so this is the final look um, using the Sigma Viper palette and using their brushes. Um, so I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this haul. Um, if you're interested in any of this stuff, Sigma's having a sale right now, or maybe you could start with some individual brushes if you're interested, or the um, F80 foundation brush. All right, guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Otherwise, I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.